But, you know, just talking to people again in the town, the overall feeling is one of pride that Wigan managed to win the FA Cup and defy the odds. Let's not forget that this was a non-league club just three and a half decades ago, so they're going to make the most of it for sure. Just give you some details about the uh, parade a little later on. It's going to start down that end of town, uh, Standish Gate. About quarter past five, the players are going to get on the open top bus and then come through the town. I'm told that they're going to come right through the crowd here and uh, get off the bus around this area here before they make their way onto the, uh, the stage for the main celebrations. And uh, there will be a, a Wembley feeling, no doubt. Remember those scenes at Wembley, the, the fans celebrating. I will never forget them for sure. It was a great achievement for Wigan Athletic to beat Manchester City on that day. And uh, later on today, it's going to be a terrific occasion as well. Yeah.
see the boys here on the stage in the next few minutes. Okay? It's going straight through, yeah? The bus is going to come down here, straight over the top. The bus is going to turn right, and then the boys are going to come around the back of the stage. So if you want to see them on the stage, just gently move out the way, as the police are telling you. Move backwards down, uh, what's this called, marketplace down here, and uh, the police will be able to move the bus through so you can see the boys on the stage. And in between, let's have a rendition of Chiang! the championship and a return to Wembley for the Community Shield, these fans can look forward to a minimum of 55 matches next season. They better start saving. Chris Hall, ITV News, Wigan. I'm milking the applause from this huge crowd that's turned out today. You know, this is quite an incredible sporting town, this place. The Wigan Warriors are currently sitting top of the Super League table. They're also just two games from Wembley themselves in the Challenge Cup. We might well see another couple of open top bus rides here before the year is out, but this is very much Wigan Athletics Those celebrations. Day. Quite emotional, you know. You've seen lots of parades, Tony, but Wigan Athletic is a club that doesn't get many accolades. The town really came together today, and as you can see from these pictures, the open top bus that paraded through the uh, the town centre today, from the from one end of the town to the other, arriving here uh, on stage at uh, about half past five uh, this afternoon. All of the players were celebrating. Roberto Martinez was joining in celebrations. I heard estimates earlier today that 25,000 fans were expected and I thought that was a bit ambitious but in the end we've heard that there were 30,000 supporters here to welcome the team and to cheer what really is an historic occasion for Wigan Athletic. Let's not forget that not too long ago they were a non-league club weren't they and now their name is etched on the FA Cup, the oldest club competition in the world forever. Football Club, that's the team we love. We'll always stick together. We 